here I have the King James Version. Okay, we are on Galatians 6 here. Now, currently me and my family, we're reading from the Message Bible, the MSG. All right, so here we have exactly the same thing, Galatians 6. Now, with this Bible, you're able to bring them together and compare. So I have King James Version on the left over here, Galatians 6. And I have the MSG version or the message version on the right here, right? Recently on one of my videos, uh, uh, a viewer actually said that any other version other than the King James version is a, a, a blasphemy, right? It is a man's personal take on the word of God. And I replied that, hey, first of all, you know, with all due respect, you know, that the Bible was not originally created or sorry, not originally written in English. It was Aram Aramean or Aramaic. So on the left here, we have Galatians chapter six. On the right, we have Galatians chapter six. On the left, it is KGV, King James Version. On the right, it is MSG, Message Version. Okay, so on the left, we're gonna be reading Galatians six, King James Version from verse one to three. And on the right, we're going to be reading King, uh, the message version, verse 1 to 3. So verse 1 of the King James Version, it says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ, for if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. That's the King James Version. On the left here now, we have the Message Version. And reading the same Galatians 6, verse 1 to 3, it says, Live creatively, friends. If someone falls into sin, forgivingly restore him. Saving your critical comments for yourself. You might be needing forgiveness before the day's out. Stoop down and reach out to those who are oppressed. Share their burdens and so complete Christ's law. If you think you are too good for that, you are badly deceived. Now, plain and simple, okay? If you want to check this out for yourself, you can, okay? And there's no difference. The wording is a little bit different, but the message is exactly the same. There's no altering right the message version says what the kjv version says it's just worded a little bit differently okay no alterations no a uh, different text no different phrases or sentences it's exactly the same and let's go ahead right off the bat and just pick something else let's just scroll and choose one let's go with this one let's go with this one right here okay so on the right we have Let's go here. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. Okay? Message version. And on the right, I'm sorry, on the left, we have KJV version. And we're going to highlight verse 1 and verse 2. All right? Now let's read. Again, this on the left is KJV, King James Version. On the right, MSG, message version. Okay, same 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Let's start with the KJV. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Pretty straightforward. Let's go over to the message version. Again, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. It pleases me that you continue to remember and honor me by keeping up the traditions of the faith I taught you. All actual authority stems from Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but this is exactly what the KJV version says, just worded a bit differently, okay? If we use our common sense, right, we use our intelligence and we read through you can hear that it's exactly the same thing just worded differently okay so anytime you hear somebody reading something and it sounds a little bit different if you're used to reading the kjv there's nothing wrong with that but there are different versions don't be afraid to compare for yourself to make sure that the word aligns with the word 
okay? There's many different versions out there, many. There, look at this, there's the AMP, the CEV. Uh, fun fact, me and my family actually already, uh, uh, kind of, sorry, already completed reading the entire Bible in the CEV, which is the contemporary English version. Next, after we are done with the MSG version, we're moving on to the AMP, right? There's so much versions, look at this. There's so much versions. Don't be afraid to go through it, compare it for yourselves, take a look, but don't be quick to say that another version, right, is not the actual word of God, right? Check for yourself before you, 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 you throw those, before you say anything to somebody about that or try to say that it's blasphemy or anything like that. Check it out for yourself, okay? This was just a quick little video just showing you right here in the comparison. That's why I love this app, okay? Don't be afraid to go and check it out. Okay, I hope to have uh, enlightened some of you or any one of you out there. Um, but yeah, there are different versions. Compare them for yourselves and you'll see that there's really no difference. Just the wording might be a little bit different. Some might be a little simplified. But if you use your intelligence, you can actually realize, you will realize that it's the exact same word. No alterations, no man's interpretation. The word of God is the word of God. All right. Thanks for sticking out through this one. Thanks for joining in. I'll see you in the next one. As always, I'm your humble host, Picasso. You know me as Paul. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.